Hello there! Today I'm going to be doing not a sketchbook tour because as you well know I don't tend to fill up one sketchbook, I tend to just draw in a bunch of different sketchbooks and then I never fill one up because I'm drawing in so many. Um, I'm the kind of person who doesn't draw every day but when I do draw I like to do sort of finished pieces. I of course do like doodles every now and again but I'm not really going to show you those because I don't feel they're going to be beneficial. So I'm going to be showing you a whole bunch of artwork that I have done over the past year um, and just go through it. I feel like I need to show you guys this because a lot of you don't follow me on Instagram which is basically where I post all of my art. I don't tend to make a huge amount of speed paints anymore like I used to and I've had a couple of comments. Claims to be an artist yet rarely produces anything new and original. Am I the only person that has always seen her do these kinds of artist hacks slash life struggles slash DIY etc vlogger but never actually seen her do actual art and paintings? <sighs> Firstly, I have done a couple recently. I just don't do them every single week anymore. Um, the reason for this is I used to make a lot of speed paints because it was a hobby of mine. It kind of encouraged me to make art. The problem with this is that it got to the point where I would only ever produce art if I was filming it and because of that I didn't enjoy it very much anymore. I am someone who I feel very much under pressure and stressed if I am recording myself while I'm painting. I'm constantly thinking, oh my gosh, my, my camera battery's gonna die, my SD card's gonna get full, there's gonna be too many clips, my computer's not gonna handle all of it, I'm not gonna be able to edit it, it's gonna, it's gonna be a nightmare. This whole time this is going through my head and I'm not enjoying it. And, you know, last week I actually did do a speed painting video because I was repainting an old piece and in that one I got a comment along the lines of I prefer your Pinterest hack videos. I can't win. Regardless, I still make art. I just don't always put it on my YouTube channel or, or record myself doing it. I always, always, always put my art on Instagram. So if you don't follow me and you wanna see my art, please feel free to follow me on Instagram because that's where I post. Enough of the boring talk, let's get into my sketch stuff. This isn't everything I've created in the past year because some of it I've either sold, didn't take pictures of, lost, that kind of thing. Um, but I'm gonna start back with my digital painting of Cruella de Vil. Um, I've always found her one of the coolest, coolest? Not really the coolest. She's just a villain that I hated as a kid. Next, I did this Cinderella castle. Um, and this is on my channel, it's a video. You can go and watch it. I'll leave links to all this stuff in the description. But yes, this was my Cinderella castle. I was very happy with it, still am. Um, it was done with 99 cents acrylic paint. Next up, we have Inktober stuff from last year. Um, and I only did about seven Inktober pieces last year. I don't have all of them anymore because I have given some away as gifts. But um, this one was from the 1st of October, 2016. It's Bates Motel. Uh, sorry, the house from Bates Motel and the Psycho films. And I just love the series and the films, so that was made with ink. This was the 6th of October, a Frankenstein monster, because Halloween. Next up we have Hannibal, because I really liked that series. Next up we have this um, ice fantasy piece I made and sold, which I don't really have because I sold it. Then it was Christmas time and I made this Polar Express acrylic painting on a wooden board. Um, yep, glittery outsides made with acrylic paint again. Next up I made this piece and it is to date one of my favourite original pieces. This is called Winnie. Um, it was to raise awareness for grizzly bears and I kind of wanted to give him a little sort of lovable look and it's got like this metallic-y gold paint which I love. Um, and it was done with inks, inks and watercolours, and there's some acrylic here, but it's on Bristol paper if anyone's asking. I also have little, like, 7x5 sized prints of these. If anyone wants to buy, I've only got a couple left, I think, so if anyone wants to buy these, I'll put a link to them in the description to my Etsy shop. Next up, we have this Tangled painting. Um, this is based on a piece of concept art made by Disney before they made the film, and I've just always loved it, and, um... I just love purples and blues together and I just really enjoyed making this. So this was with acrylics on a whatever size canvas this is. Okay, now these ones were all around the start of the new year. 
Um, and basically they're just a bunch of little Disney sketches. Here's Jiminy Cricket because I absolutely love him. Um, then I did a Winnie the Pooh piece with Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh because it's my absolute favourite. Then I did Lady and the Tramp with some gold paint. Um, I just kind of put some quotes from the films because why not? And I drew this really random girl because I've been trying to practice my sort of original characters. And then I've got my own little version of the Little Mermaid when she sort of gets her legs with the gold paint again because I'm obsessed with this gold paint. Right, so for anyone asking, this is the gold paint that I use. It's by Golden Fluid Acrylics. Um, and the shade, shade, oh my gosh, I'm not doing a makeup review. The colour is iridescent gold, deep, fine. Um, and it's just very, very gold. And I created myself, this was when I was kind of in the beginning of the year, trying to get my feet with original characters and doing things that weren't referenced. Um, it's not the best, but it was a class that I took on Skillshare. Um, and yeah, it's myself as a Disney princess. So it's okay. It's not the best. I like the colours, but um, my style has evolved from this point. I also forgot to mention this to you. Uh, this is 1080 magazine. It's basically like a YouTuber magazine they bring out once a year or so. And look, these are all mine. These are my illustrations. I did the logo at the top um, and I did all of these drawings for all of these YouTubers. Um, yeah, so see, look, see, it says my name. It's really cool. Next up, I'll show you a couple from my sketchbook, even though they're kind of a bit rubbish. I got some facial expressions here. This was like another face that I was working on. I got this really quick watercolour I did of a beach when I was on holiday. And then this was slightly later on um, in the year. This is quite recently. So my style has evolved a little bit. It's still kind of, I'm still learning um, with anatomy and original characters and things. But yes, that's, that's what I'm, doing at the moment. I made these when I was on a holiday in Florida. I was going to do an art drop and I, I got rid of two and I never heard from anyone and I was a bit kind of like why am I doing this if no one can be bothered to even let me know they found it which maybe is the wrong attitude to have but I was like you know whatever I'll give it to people that actually want them. Um, so I made a stitch as you can see, it says Ahana means family, and family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. Then I've got the Winnie the Pooh one, because again, love Winnie the Pooh. Sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in your heart, which is very true. And then just a very, very basic Mickey that says it all started with a mouse. And finally, I've gotten back into digital art again because I absolutely love digital art so much. I started off by drawing my favourite singer, Jessie J, and here is what it looks like. I'm very happy with this. This was like a three hour study. I was kind of wanting to get into doing very, very quick like sketches and um, digital things. And then I drew Laura Bow Browers. I don't know how you pronounce her name, that's really bad. Um, she goes by Siren, you probably you more than likely know who she is. She is an incredible artist and I just love her vibrant hair and I just thought it was a great excuse to draw her. So that was in two hours. So two hour digital painting. Okay, next up, this is a piece I did in my last video if you haven't seen it. This was a recreation of a um, 2011 piece that I made. This is what it looks like and I'm very happy with it. It's made with watercolour. And now we are on to Inktober from this year. Um, it's only I'm missing one. Okay, well apparently I have lost my Inktober day one piece. I don't know where it's gone, it's around us somewhere. So I'll put a picture up here of what it looks like. Um, and it's the prompt for this day was, what was it? Swift, that was it, it was for Swift. And I didn't have a clue what to make for Swift. So um, I ended up figuring out, figuring out that Swift was a bird. And I basically did my version of like a Snow White-esque figure holding a Swift bird. Day two, the prompt was divide. And um, I drew this of, I don't know if you can see it because it's very bright. Um, my boyfriend and I were in a long distance relationship. And divide is basically the epitome of uh, long distance relationships and this was from today which is the 3rd of October it'll be the 4th of October by the time you see this um, and the theme was poison and this was a concept that I thought of a long time ago and I just it fitted so well so this is it it says humanity and then has the earth squished by some barbed wire um, and the earth is bleeding because humans are poison to the planet 
And yeah, that is my art to, to show you. As I say, basically all of this is on my Instagram, so do follow me there as well. As you can see, I do make art, I just don't always show it on video. Because I, I, I want to enjoy my art, I don't want to feel that I always have to record myself doing it. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what your favourite piece was, and how many pieces have you made this year, I'd be curious to know. So thank you for watching, take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next video.